Right, first tutorial. Um, making pendant and perhaps a brooch. I suppose a lot of you already know about this epoxy two-part paste, but this one was called Silly Gum. Um, and you buy it, it's a blue and a white. You mix equal quantities together, quite thoroughly, until the overall colour is a uniform blue, paler blue, than it was originally. You squeeze it out into whatever shape you think is going to be um, the shape required for your thing you're going to press into it. Now this is a little seed head, it's quite, actually it's about two and a half inches long, it's quite a big one, which I have already pressed into here to produce the mould. Um, we might do another tutorial just on mould making but I think it's pretty self-evident and instructions are on the packet and I'll put the link at, under the video later. So with this what I do I am using um, a pre-made papier-mâché paste it's called Porzella and it's a very very fine air-dried um, papier-mâché. It's really useful it's made by a company called Rhea, R-A-Y-H-E-R, I'll put the link on. So take a piece, roll it into a little squidge and press it in to the mould. Well in. Now, depending if you want to have a little edge around it or whether you want to have it just as a very clean cut will determine how much of the paste you're going to remove. I'm going to make it a little bit rough because I'm going to attach it to something else. So when it's like that you literally just peel it out gently and leave it to dry. I've built a little wooden cabinet. It's got doors and it's got two glass shelves inside and it's perfect because it's got a heat lamp at the bottom so all the heat rises and I can put all my bits of papier-mâché in there and it just encourages it to dry a little quicker. Here's one I did earlier which is already dry so we can we can get going with that. With this what I thought I would do first of all is put the Sticky, uh, it's called a acrylic gold size. And I know all the writing's back to front, but I'll put all the information at the bottom. So I've poured some into a cup and I pop it into a little jar to hold it steady. And I've got a very old paintbrush, which I probably wouldn't use for many, many things. The stickiness never entirely dries, it always stays tacky, and so the brushes very difficult to get completely clear. And on this, what I'm going to do, it's got tiny little indentations and I thought it would be quite nice to just fill with a little blob on the end of the brush. Just put a little blob of this size on, not necessarily all of them, some of them, it's got a bit of sticky on there. Like that. There. Okay, I'm just going to pop that in the drying cabinet too, but generally it'll just only because it's out of the way really, because it'll just dry. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes and it goes tacky. Right, so I'll make another one of these just for now. this time I won't be too bothered about how much I take off at the edge because I want to use this one damp. I'm going to take it out of there like that and just lay it down flat. I'm going to make the pendant. What I've done in this case is I've already laid one flat in the middle. Now for the base I used Modrock which is a plaster of Paris impregnated gauze. It's fairly easy to get hold of and I've cut three pieces like that. So I'm going to 
just stick them together with water. It's lovely. It's used to, used to be used for setting broken bones in orthopaedic hospitals. So lay one on top of the other. Well, they don't use it now, I don't think. They've got more high-tech stuff now. So it takes quite a, a nice amount of water and lay that on top. Let the water soak through. You can squidge it around. Don't want to get it too wet. And being plaster of Paris, it does dry fairly quickly. <coughs> what I've done here, I've taken a plastic beaker and I've cut it in half. So it gives me a nice curve like that. And then just lift that up at one end like that and lay it across the top so that it just sort of drapes and creates a bit of a curve. Let's pop that in there for a few moments. It won't take very long. Clear away. There we go. I did two more of these earlier on, um, just so that I could start to Oh yes, that's quite nice now. Show you the the stickiness. Where did I get my gold leaf? I'll just I'll get it in a moment. I'm going to pause the video just for a little bit now. There we go. 